All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to another one of my Football Manager online game episodes. I am West Ham boss, Hugh Wizzy is Arsenal boss, and True Geordie is Newcastle boss. And this is the final episode of the series. It's massive because Wizzy could still win the title, True Geordie could still go down. I'm pretty much going to be around 10th place, whatever happens, but I'm still going to play a part in it because the final game of the episode for me is against True Geordie. I could potentially be the one who relegates him, or if he gets a result against me, it could keep him up. There's loads of drama still to come. We're going to play our final three games. Then, as usual, at the end of the episode, we'll have a Skype catch-up where we can talk about everything that's happened. Drop a like on the video if you've been enjoying this series, and let's crack on. So let's have a look at the league table as things stand. Wizzy is in fourth place only five points behind Man United who are top he can still win the league mathematically likewise true Geordie is out of the relegation zone in 16th place but he's only three points above the drop Burnley in 18th place and I think he's got some tough games he's got to play me and Wizzy this episode so this is a ridiculously huge episode for true Geordie his premiership survival is in his hands and I'm in 10th place the best I could finish is 9th and I think the worst I could finish is probably 11th but I'm going to go for 10th, and if I can get 9th, that'll be a bonus. OK, well, Wizzy has had a solid start to today's episode. He's won his away leg in the Europa League, his first leg of the semi-final against Everton. Tottenham have also won away, so it's looking like we could have a North London all-English final. OK, it's game day now in the Premier League. I'm away to Aston Villa, but Jordi and Wizzy are playing each other in a huge game. Wizzy can't afford to lose it if he still wants to be in the title race. Jordi can't afford to lose it if he wants to guarantee himself safety. A draw isn't really ideal for either of them. I can't wait to see what happens there. Meanwhile, we need to concentrate on our game. It's a battle of the Claret and Blue clubs. This is the team I'm going with. Sacco up top, Zerate and Valencia behind him, Noble and Milfatano and Song, Cresswell, Collins, Reed, Vanderville, Adrian in goal. Come on, boys. I want to get six points from these three games today. Chelsea, I'm not expecting to do anything against necessarily. We lost 2-1 to Villa at home, so we need to get revenge on them by beating them at their gaff. Okay, it says Aston Villa are the favourites, but we know we're better than them. We can win this. Come on. Let's have a look at their team. They're going for a 4-1 4-1 formation at home, that's quite negative. Ben Teke up front on his own. Okay, come on boys, let's go. Let's get a win. Set ourselves up nicely for the end of the season. I'll take you to Dubai. Get me a win in this game, I will take you to Dubai. Business class all the way. Here we go, we've got a free kick. Zerate whips it in. Come on boys, Emil Fatano over to Zerate. Mauro, that's beautiful. Zerate, Zerate, he's a bloody hero. I love this guy, it's his 13th goal of the season, but that's lucky for me. Okay, it's half time, and the only real highlight of that first half was Zerate's goal. Emil Fatano got the assist. We've got a couple of yellow cards at centre back, need to be careful with that. Benteke, I don't like this. Westwood and Zogbia, oh no. Sissoko, oh no. Benteke's equalised, boys. It's one all. It's always a Belgian. Oh no. Don't let him score another one. Good tackle, Cresswell. Let's get rid of it. Zerate, that's not good passing, is it? Come on, boys. We need to do better than this. And Zogbia. Oh my word. Oh no. Not another one for them, boys. Come on. Hold on. Just hold on for me. And Zogbia's absolutely marking us off. Jesus, did you see that? Zerate's got a free kick. Zerate, come on, boys. Let's get a killer blow now. Make it 2 1. Zerate whips it in. No, don't let them go and score. Well done, Cresswell. No ball. Zerate, come on, boys. Mauro, you little hero. Marky Nobes into nobody. Oh, no. If they score now, Marky Nobes, I'm going to be blaming you. Oh, no. What's going on here? Collins has had a mare. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well done, Adrian. Okay, Andy Carroll's coming on as a target, man. Downing's coming on for Valencia. He's going on the left. Let's see what that does. We've got a corner in the 87th minute. Cresswell puts it in. I thought that was going to be it. Stuart Downing's been great off the bench for us. Van der Veer with a big knock-up. Andy Carroll. Oh, I thought that was his moment for his first goal of the season. He hit the bar, but it was offside anyway. Ravel Morrison coming off for Mark Noble in the last few minutes. We're into injury time. Is it going to be a one-all draw? I think it might be. Oh, we're well into injury time now. The whistle's going to go any second. There it is. Disappointing to have had the lead and throw it away, but a one-all draw away from home isn't a disaster. Zerate gets mad at the match. He's been my man of the season. Well, let's have a look at the other scores. And True Geordie and Arsenal have drawn one-all with a result that pretty much ends Arsenal's title hopes. It's a shame as well, because if Wizzy had won that... Obviously, True Geordie would have been gutted, but Man City and Man United both dropped points. They both drew. That would have been great for Hugh Wizzy, but he stays in fourth place. Chelsea and United have definitely got Champions League football next year. City have definitely got Europa League. That's secured already. And that draw for True Geordie means he's still three points above the drop, still in 16th place, looking pretty good. As long as he doesn't lose the next two games, I think he'll be okay. As for me, I remain in 10th. Mathematically, I could still finish 11th, but I think I'll be fine for that. And I could technically still climb up to 9th, depending on how I get on. 
on in the next two, but I've got Chelsea next, who are going to be looking to consolidate their position at the top of the leaderboard by beating me. Let's see if I can stop them. Well, Wizzy has secured himself a spot in the Europa League final, and it is going to be a North London derby, Arsenal versus Spurs in the final of the Europa League. That's huge. OK, it's Premier League game day again. I am at home against Chelsea. They're top of the league. I'm in 10th. Arsenal has got Man City. That's a massive game for Wizzy in what's going to decide the top four. Wizzy could still potentially come fifth, you know, and miss out on Champions League football. So he needs to make sure he gets a result at home against City. And Jordi is away against Stoke. Now, if he wins that game, he's pretty much safe from relegation. Now, I've actually played Chelsea twice before in this series. I drew one, or technically I won it. It was in the Capital One Cup. It went to penalties. I beat them at home. When I played them away, I lost. We're back at my gaff now at Upton Park, the bowling ground. Can I get revenge and win this one? It will be massive if I do. I'm going to start the exact same team I started against Aston Villa, but I've changed some instructions. I'm asking him to do more direct passing, close down less, I want to keep my shape, get stuck in, higher tempo when we have got the ball, and be more disciplined. Let's see if it works. Their team, look at that team. Diego Costa, Hazard, Oscar, Willian, Fabregas, Kadira, Felipe Luiz, Terry, Zuma, Ivanovic, and Petr Cech. Come on, boys, I believe in you. Let's not concede straight off the bat. Let's just, let's just shut up the shop a little bit if we can. Okay, that's a good save. 17 seconds in. Marky Noble. To Emil Fatano. Emil Fatano. Lovely. Lovely. Emil Fatano. Oh my gosh. We've got a corner here. Crespo whips it in. Can we get a goal? Emil Fatano gathers it. Yes. Marky Nobes. Cresswell. Oh, <laughs> what a goal from Aaron Cresswell. Did you see the strike on that? It's his first goal of the season, but what a hit. Outside the box, beauty. We're 1-0 up against the league leaders. And we've got a corner here. Cresswell. Hang on. Zerate. Come on, boys. Cresswell, the goal scorer. Oh, we've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. We can go 2-0 up against the top of the league. This is massive. Do not miss this, boys. It's Marky Noble on it. Do not let me down. Marky Nobes, bang. Yes, Marky Noble, 2 0 up. Come on. Stick your blue flag up, yup. Mm. Half time, we're 2 0 up. I can't complain about any one of you boys. Aaron Criswell's playing an 8.2. Keep doing what you're doing, boys. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not collapse. A few times this season we've been up against really good teams and we've collapsed. We did it against you, Wizzy. Hang on. Could we go 3 0 up? Surely not. Zerate, Emil Fatano, Criswell, the man of the moment. He gets tackled by Zuma, who's been yellow carded. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Don't let him score right at the start of the second half. What a tackle from Alex Song. Go on, Zerate. Go on, Zerate. Zer You've got to score that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hazard. Remy. I think, they, I think they hit the post. Valencia's got himself injured. That's not what we wanted to see. Okay, he's going to come off for Stuart Downing. We'll swap Zerate and Downing over. Diego Costa. Hazard. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Adrian made an unbelievable save, but Willian has scored the rebound, made it 2-1. This is not what I wanted to see, boys. Hold on, please. Kadir has fouled me there. What's going to happen? Is he going to get in trouble here? He might do. He's got a red card. Yes, they're down to 10 men. That is perfect. Come on, boys. Don't let him get back in it with 10 men. That would be tantamount to vandalism. No, no. Oh, come on. They've gone up the other end after getting someone sent off and scored. That's unacceptable. Come on, let's go and get a third. Zerate, Song, Noble. Come on, Zerate. What you got for me, Mauro? What you got for me? Oh, Mauro, don't do it, boys. Don't concede a third one We're against 10 men. No. No, I won't allow it. If they score a third now, I'm going to be heartbroken. Don't do it to me. Oh, come on. This is poppycock. How am I 3-2 down? With 10 men they've got. It's just unacceptable. I can't believe this. I mean, I expected us to lose this game, but not this way. Seconds left now. The whistle's going to go. Morrison puts it off. That's, that's just diabolical, boys. 2-0 up, and then 2-1 up, and then they get a red card, and we concede two. That's poor. So disappointed with the way I've lost that game. And Wizzy has won 2-0 against Man City. Three red cards in that match, but he still won it. How did Jordi get on? He lost. Jordi lost to Stoke. That means I could relegate him by beating him in the final game. That's a lot of power I hold in my hands. James Collins is out for six to eight days. He's probably going to miss the match with Jordi. Let's look at this league table then. Arsenal are in third. They've qualified for Champions League now, whatever happens. And even though they could drop to fourth, they can't drop lower than that. And they can't go up to second. So third or fourth is where Wizzy will finish. Jordi has dropped to 17th position. He's two points above Burnley, right? If Burnley win and I beat him, he's down. As simple as that. Likewise, if Hull win and I beat him, he's also down. He can't afford them to win and he can't afford to lose to me. Looks like I'm going to finish 10th or I could still drop down to 11th if I lose. I do not want to lose to True Geordie. Aaron Cresswell has made it in the team of the week. I'm not surprised his goal could be goal of the season. It was an absolute crackerjack. And uh, Sanchez and Giroud and Royce from Arsenal are all in there as well. Still no Newcastle players in there, True Geordie. 
This is it, the final game of the Premier League season and what a big one it is. Me against True Geordie at St James Park. He's got a chance of going down and staying up depending on what happens in our game and other games. Meanwhile, Arsenal are away against Liverpool. He secured himself Champions League football but obviously he wants to do as well as he can so he wants to win that one. It's huge, boys. It's absolutely huge. Hull and Burnley are the two teams that could send Geordie down if they win. Hull are playing Chelsea away. I can't see them getting anything there. But Burnley could do Villa away and then all I'd have to do is beat Geordie and he's down. It's in my hands. I feel like God. I'm changing my team up for this game. It's getting too predictable. My form has been poor. I haven't won in four games now. Two draws and two losses in my last four. Not scoring enough goals. Despite scoring two against Chelsea at home, I still lost. So I'm moving to this formation, a little bit more attacking away from home, slightly controversial. Downing's coming in for Emil Furtano, he's on the left. Zerate's going behind Sacco, he's up front. Valencia on the right is a Ram Doita. Noble in the middle, Song behind, and then Tomkins is in for Collins who's got injured. Cresswell left back, hopefully he can score another screamer. Reed, Van der Veel and Adrian. This could be Van der Veel and Song's last game for the club, because they're both on loan. So make sure you go out on a high, boys. Don't forget, I've got Andy Carroll on the bench, ready to come on. He hasn't scored all season. If he's ever going to score, this is the time to do it. Against his old club, Newcastle. Against True Geordie, who refused to buy him off me. It could be poetry. It really could. I want to end the season with a win. And if that means True Geordie goes down to the championship, so be it. That is the team that Newcastle have gone with. No Harry Kane. They've dropped Harry Kane to the bench. Controversial. Ferreira, Sissoko, Gufran, Anita, Cabea, Teote. It's a similar sort of formation to mine. A little bit deeper. Haidara, Vla, Colacini, Jan Matt and Tim Krull. Let's go. Here we go. We're off. Massive. Song, get it down. Don't lose it. No, we lose. Oh, God, I don't like this. Sissoko. Oh, my word. Oh, they've got a free kick. Ron Vlaar. No, no, no. Colacini scored for them. We've gone one nil down. Oh, my God. Not a good half, boys. It's going to go to half time. We've hardly had a shot. Valencia. Come on. Yes. Sacco. Zerate. Sacco. Downing. Downing. Sacco. Oh, Sacco. And that's half time. We're one nil down. It's not good enough. Let's go back out there second half, boys, and just find something from somewhere. Marky Nobes, Song, Zerate, lovely little boys, oh, dropped the shoulder. Mauro Zerate, Valencia, come on, Enna, put it in. Yeah, it's an own goal. I think it's an own goal. Colacini's cancelled out his goal, and he's put it in his own net, and it's one all, and that's what I wanted. Hello, Cresswell, throws it to Song. Zerate, Sacco, we're 2-1 up. True Jordi, he will not be happy right now, boys. We've gone 2-1 up. This is excellent. Harry Kane's just come on for Newcastle. Okay, he's going for it. Oh no, Mark Noble's got injured. Okay, we need to change some things up. Mark Noble's going to come off for Diego Poirier. He's going to sit in there and do a job for us. Sacco, what are you going to do? Ravel Morrison. Yes, Sacco. Come on, finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Oh. No, not now in the 88th minute. Don't do it to me. Harry Kane, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake, Harry Kane. Right, I've got to do it then. I've got to get Andy Carroll on. Andy Carroll's coming on. For the Afro Sacco as a target man. I want to win this game. Come on, boys. We've got to go for it. Unbelievable scenes. I can't believe Harry Kane's just got the equaliser in the 88th bloody minute. If Andy Carroll scores, it's going to be unbelievable. If you score, I won't sell you. I'll hold on to you, Andy. I promise you. Just get me one goal. Come on, Andy. Just minutes left. Is Andy going to get a chance? I don't think he is. Unless it's now. Surely not. Zerate. No. The whistle's going to go. There it is. It's 2 all. Wow, I need to see what the other results were because that Kane goal in the last minute may have just saved True Geordie. I mean, it has saved True Geordie, definitely, but if he'd lost the game, we don't know whether he'd have definitely gone down or not. We have to find out. Zerate gets man of the match. What a player he's been this season. But I'm disappointed we let another win slide through our fingers. Burnley lost whole one. Hull actually beat Chelsea. Unbelievable. What would that have meant for the league table? Right. Oh, my God. That Harry Kane goal actually kept him up. If he hadn't scored that, he was going to go down. That's ridiculous. Wizzy actually lost his last game as well. 4-1 to Liverpool. And he's got Liverpool coming up in the FA Cup final as well. So he needs to not let that happen again in the big game. So this is how it ended then. Chelsea won the league by one point. United second. City third. Wizzy dropped down to fourth. Unfortunately, he hasn't improved on Wenger. Although he might win himself a Europa League and an FA Cup, which is decent. Newcastle survived by one point. That goal from Harry Kane kept him in the league in the 88th minute. What a finish to the series. We finished bang in the middle in 10th on 50 points, which I probably would have taken at the start of the season based on the players I've got and the fact I had no money. Even Newcastle were able to spend you know, 10 million on Harry Kane. I brought in Neil Taylor for 2 million or whatever. That was it, the rest of the loanees. So hopefully we can get some more money and improve the squad, but 
10th place for me, smack bang in the middle. Actually, there's quite a lot of symmetry in the table because I'm right in the middle, Wizzy was three places off the top and Geordie was three places off the bottom. So Burnley and Hull have been relegated alongside Sunderland. We've been given 11.63 million for finishing 10th in the league. Oh, true Geordie has been sacked by Newcastle United. Even though he stayed up, they've sacked him. Unbelievable, he's gone. They've got rid of him. I can't believe it. I didn't see that coming. I thought if he stayed up, they'd keep him. But I guess he probably had objectives higher than survival. They probably wanted him to get, you know, in the middle of the league, not just surviving. Eden Hazard has won Footballer of the Year for Chelsea. He's had a storm. It's always a Belgian. Mata has won Players Player of the Year. Falcao, the top goal scorer, award 27 goals. Lacazette came third for, for who is he? Zaha gets the Young Player of the Year award. Mourinho gets Manager of the Year. And Zarate was in the Players Team of the Year. That's good. A West Ham player made it in. No Arsenal players in there. No Newcastle boys in there. Just my boy, Mauro Zarate. Oh, hello. New budgets. I've got 10 million to spend. I can make something happen with that, I'm sure. Right, I'm not wasting any time. I've got a signing lined up. Kuzmanovic, currently playing for Inter Milan. I can get him for 1 million. I'm going to do it. Unbelievable. I've had three offers for Andy Carroll for 8 million. Yes, I will sell him to all of you. Leicester Stoke Swansea, I don't care. Take him off my hands. Aston Villa have made a bid for Matt Jarvis as well. Perfect. If I can offload these boys, I can get some more money. Meanwhile, I'm going to sign Van der Ville on a permanent basis. I've managed to get him for a steal. 1.6 million. Unbelievable. Yes, I'll definitely take him. He's going to join me in a few weeks when the season ends. Wow, Wizzy has lost the Europa League final on penalties to Spurs. That's got to hurt losing to North London rivals like that. And if he doesn't win his FA Cup final coming up soon, he risks actually doing worse than Wenger did the season he took over from. Because obviously last year, Wenger came fourth and won the FA Cup. Right now, Wizzy's just come fourth. He's not won anything. Unbelievable. Wizzy's lost the other final. Again, in, this time in extra time, not penalties. He's lost both finals. So he's actually not improved on what Arsene Wenger did, despite bringing in Marco Royce, Lacazette, Carvalho, some amazing players. So I think it's fair to say that I really won this series, didn't I? Because I hit my targets. I came 10th, middle table, pretty decent. Geordie got sacked. Hugh Wizzy, Champions League didn't go to plan for him. It's awkward. It's very awkward. Okay, it's time to wrap things up with a chat with the boys. True Geordie, ex-Newcastle manager who's now been sacked, and Hugh Wizzy. Let's see what they're saying. Right, boys, the season is over, and the first things we have to address is, True Geordie, um, you're down the job centre, mate. What happened? One of the things I tend to do, pal, especially when I've just escaped relegation, is forget to go to the meetings that are apparently really integral part of the job. I was like, F yeah, meeting, mate. I'm not interested. I've just kept this up from relegation. Suck my toes, pal. So I was really happy at that point. So I forgot all about that. So the sack this, but I just kept them up from relegation. It was an amazing episode. First, I played Hugh Wizzy. We managed to pull it back to 1 1. I get out with a draw. Then I play Stoke. Robert Hoot with a 30 yard free kick against us. Top corner. He's second time he's done that to me this season. So it all comes down to the final game against Spencer. If I win or draw, I'm up. If I lose, I'm going down. And really, in the 88th it's minute, ridiculous. Hull were beating Chelsea 3 2 at Stanford Bridge. Spencer was beating me 2 1. I was going down, but then cometh the hour. Cometh the man, Harry Kane stepped up, he buried it, and honestly lads, I went that mental, I actually went lightheaded, like I was like, <laughs> I, I need to sit down here, I can't believe it man, it was the most amazing end. Both times we played, we drew, so you didn't lose yeah. to me, and you and you drew once with, with uh, Hugh Wizzy, so you only lost one of the games against yeah. the three of us, whereas I didn't win any, any of them, I drew both times with you and lost both times to Wizzy, so... Speaking um, of you, Wizzy, mate, yeah. how was your episode, pal? Very eventful, uh, rather unsuccessful, finished fourth. Yeah, absolutely gutted, if I'm honest about it. Invested quite a lot of money, so I was expecting um, a run of sorts. Got to two finals and then cocked it up um, when it really mattered. So, complete bunch of bottlers, letdowns, and... Uh, not really a good word to say about any of them, really. The perfect way to wrap up this season would be for us all just to agree that I won it. <laughs> because obviously like, I hit my targets. My targets was nah. on the table. I finished 10th. Got to the quarterfinal. 
Cap at one cup, mate. Pretty big deal. Big, big Spencer Allardyce over here. Happy yeah. with mid-table mediocrity as long as he doesn't get relegated. And he's like, we're going to stadium. We're going to Olympic Stadium. <laughs> as, long as, as long as we're in that Olympic Stadium, we're in the Premier League job done, mate. All right, sure fair enough. Olympic Stadium, mate. <laughs> um, but guys, you can let us know what you want us to do next. I don't know what you boys think, but we've been talking about it, haven't we? And we're thinking that rather than continuing this series this like uh you know west ham arsenal newcastle setup maybe later on we can um have a little bit of a break and then come back with a different setup maybe in a different league and us all being similar sort of teams with similar sort of transfer budgets so it's more of a straight free horse race maybe you guys can let us know in the comments what you think we should do i just want to uh, give a little shout out to everybody on all three channels who supported spencer hugh and myself all the subscribers who hit those like buttons, watched it, appreciate it all. Thanks, thanks very much, lads. But that is it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching this season. I think we're probably going to end it there. We might continue something on Football Manager later, but I don't think it will be with these teams. I'm going to try and continue this with West Ham, though. I think we might just do it without True Geordie and Wizzy, and I'll continue it as a one player, because I want to make some investments and see where I can take my Claret and Blue boys. But thank you very much for watching. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this Football Manager series. I've still got my Bro vs Bro Fantasy Draft Football Manager series coming up on the channel as well, so there'll still be plenty of Football Manager content on here, and maybe I'll do this West Ham one on Twitch. But drop a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Don't go changing. Come on, you irons.